Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video and in this video I'm going to be showing you the top three best RP methods that you can be doing this week in GTA 5 Online. So the only requirement for this is you need to have a CEO office and a cargo warehouse and that is for one of the RP methods. The other two have no requirements at all which is actually really good for this. So we're going to go ahead and start off with one of them that has no requirements necessary. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and make your way into any online session. After that, you want to press options, go to salon, go over to jobs, go down to play jobs, go down to rockstar created, head down to find stunt races. And the first thing that should pop up is the hot ring circuit series. You might notice on the top right hand corner, it is three times winning RP for this week as well as it was for last week as well. And the one we're going to be doing is the La Mesa. You see here it opens at rank one, so there is no requirements at all. From here, just start it up. When it starts up, you want to set the minimum laps to three. Then you want to go ahead, you can change the class if you want, the time of day. And then from here, just confirm settings. Once the race starts, I'm going to show you the strategy that I've been using to get a ton of RP through this single race. So you might notice up ahead is going to be this curve with literally no ramp or no way to fly off. And that's what we're going to be doing. We're actually going to be flying off and doing flips. And the flips in the game actually gives us RP depending on how many flips that you do. So collect the first two checkpoints and then what you want to do is drive off and do as many flips as possible. Now, it is better to probably do this on the freeway, that way you get more time to do it. So I got 150 RP as well as 75 RP for that. So I got 215 RP in total, which is really good. So like I said, I spawn in. You want to try to get on the highway. You can kind of see it on the mini map on the left side. What you're trying to do is to actually perfectly land on the freeway, but you also need to do some flips. So I've done two here. Now I'm going to try to land it. And there we go, I got 150 RP for that. If you don't land it, you won't get the RP, so you need to try your best to do it. And this one is really good for really low level players, probably anybody from level 50 and under, because I feel like anyone that's above 50 at this point, is probably this one is not really that good. You can do this for as long as you like, but I believe at like the five to six minute time, it stops giving you RP for the flips. So it's best to wait like five minutes and then the second that you see you don't get any RP for landing the vehicle, you want to complete the race. Also, the good thing about completing the race is you get RP on top of the RP you're getting for doing the flips, which is really good. So I'm going to do this for about five minutes just to show you guys that you stop getting RP and then I'll show you how much you get for completing the actual race. Okay, it's around six minutes and 30 seconds now and I stopped getting RP for it. You can notice on the top bar it shows my RP level and you can see how much RP that I'm getting right now just for doing this entire thing. Now that is all you have to do for it and it gets you a lot of RP and it's really boring to do. <laughs> it's really boring to do but I hope you get RP like that. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next one which is actually going to be really good for players who are level 50 and above it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Have you ever been broke in GTA and just wish you could go from this to that without spending a bunch of shark cards that go from a $99 just to a million? That could probably get you a couple cars, maybe some buildings and businesses, but nothing to what you need. Luckily, we have OP Mods. OP Mods is a GTA 5 money account and services website that's basically really trustworthy. Not only do they actually show their proof of work and have a five star rating of Trustpilot, but they're also a lot cheaper than the other GTA 5 competitors. And you can even use code discount legit for a 5% discount on all your purchases. Thank you and back to the video. So for the next RP method, we're going to need two things. One, we need a CEO office. And number two, we need a cargo warehouse. If you don't know how to get any of that stuff, I'm going to go ahead and show you right now. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead, open up your phone, go over to internet. You want to then go to money and services. And then you want to click on the foreclosure, sorry, the dynasty eight executive. From here, enter site. And then you have offices and agencies. 
just click on offices on the top right hand corner to make it a little bit easier for you and you've got four different options to choose from also anyone who owns the criminal starter pack for gta 5 it gets the maze bank west for absolutely free so i went ahead and got the maze bank because it's the most expensive one and it's like the biggest town in the game so why not so now what we're going to do is go ahead and make our way to the office now once you enter your ceo you want to go to the left side and then you want to go and access your computer so from here we're going to go ahead register as a ceo over here you can also do this in a public or an invite only session which is something really nice because it, Rockstar just added it as far as the Criminal Enterprise DLC. So it just makes everything a bit easier. From here, you want to go ahead and log in. And then you're going to see a special card on the left side. And you want to click on that. From here, you want to click on Warehouse Map. And then it shows the two warehouses that I own. If you don't own any, it's going to look exactly like this. And you just want to buy the one for you. Now, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and click on one of the cargos I have, which is actually 25% full. And what we're going to do is actually purchase the max amount of three crates. The reason for it is because if you're making money, it's actually better to buy three crates at a time. But for the RP, we're only going to do one crate each time because it's just less money. And it makes more RP the same way as if we did one or three crates. So from here, let's go ahead and just buy it. And now we got to go and collect it. All right, so for this one, we got to go to the auto shop. So let's go ahead and go there now. This one's actually a bit of a new one because I don't remember doing an auto shop one for the cargo at all. But I could be completely wrong. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll remember it in a second, but do not remember an auto shop, you know, cargo. Okay, I went ahead. I got the keys to the van and now we just got to go and deliver it back to our warehouse so this one was actually new because i don't remember doing this one at all maybe this was part of the uh, criminal enterprise dlc but maybe i just got really unlucky and for this whole time i've never even had this mission uh, who knows and there we go we got our special cargo vehicle delivered so something that's also new is that there's a person that's going to be in your cargo warehouse it's going to be Lupe, and she can actually store special cargo for you. Now, it is going to be $7,500 for each one. Sometimes it's going to be one crate. Sometimes it'll be three. Sometimes it'll be really good crates. It's honestly like it's just gambling at that point, but it's always worth doing this because you still will make more money and RP by doing this. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to our computer here. Let's look and see how much we got. So we can sell 5 crates for 65,000, 3 crates for 36, or 1 crate for 10,000. Now I'm a little lucky here because we're in an invite only session and I'm not worried about people killing me yet. So we're going to do all of the crates. For this specific one, we got to go to LSIA, steal a plane, and then use the plane to deliver all of our crates. Alright, we are about to be on our last one. We got like a helicopter there. I don't know what he's doing. And there we go. So we got our vehicle dropped off. We got 3,000 RP for that, as well as $65,000. Now remember, I'm in an invite only session, so I'm good. If you guys are in a public one, you actually get more money in RP the more players that you have. Or I don't think it's players, I think it's CEO people because they can steal it and gain off of it. So you just need to make sure to either be in an invite only session. Or try to be in a session that does not have any like CEO members or anything like that. That way they can't benefit off killing you. And there we go. Now we're going to move on to our very last one which has no requirements necessary. For our very last RP method we're going to be doing the Sumo Adversary Mode. The Sumo Adversary Mode is currently 2 times money in RP for this week. So we're going to be taking advantage of that to get a lot of RP. In order to get to it, all you want to do is make your way into any of GT Online session. After that, you want to press options, go to online, go to jobs, go down to play jobs, go down to rocks are created, head down to you find anniversary mode, and then you want to go until you find the sumo, which you're going to have six of them in total for you to do. And if you notice on the top right corner, it is two times money in RP for this week. Now, the requirement that I actually forgot about is you do need more than one player, but 
You should be able to do that because everybody loves doing the sumo adversary modes. At least I enjoy it. So just go ahead and start any one of them up that you want. And then go ahead and start it up. For this exact one that I did, I did the sumo 2. Which is by far probably one of the scariest ones to do. Because you're in this very small island. With a bunch of little rocks and crevices that you can literally fly off of. And I got the one car that could just bully me the most. I got the dune buggy. I do not recommend that one at all. So if you do this exact one, do not pick the dune buggy. Anyway, for this one, this entire thing, all you have to do is try to be the last one on the actual platform or island or whatever it's going to be. And it ranges from two to four teams. And this one ranged from orange, purple, green, and pink. This video is already long enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to the very end of it of how much RP that I got and the other team got. So at the end of this, I did lose the match. I got $15,000, which is okay, but it's not the best. And I got 2,146 RP, which is pretty decent for the mode. Now, for the person who got first place, they got 4,388 RP, which is actually really good. And to compare that, that's basically going to be... Two to three crates selling for the cargo missions. And for the fact that you do not need any requirements for it, it's also good as well. That is all I really have for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe for more GTA 5 content like this. Also, follow me on my TikTok because I am trying to get to now 5,000 followers. And I want to thank everyone who has gotten me to 4,000 followers. With that being said, you guys have a great one, stay safe out there, and goodbye.